Okay, hi everyone. So this is our floor plan uh, tutorial. This time using the coordinate system um, and making sure we get the coordinates for our floor plan rather than using a traditional method of using construction lines and moving objects around. If you want to see the part one, I'll put the link in the description and it will flash up above as well. So we're going to start the same as any other drawing. Okay, we're just going to get a nice kind of visualization that we've got to come from a boundary and everything's measured in meters. So I'm going to come again, put some units and make sure I'm in meters. Okay, and my precision set accordingly. So this is our zero zero point. So everything has then dimensions running off of it. So what you can do is you can start off by drawing straight in within the drawing layer. So I'm going to draw a line and then put my first coordinate 75, 55. Okay, I'm going to very simply then come down to next point. So I'm going to do 300 from that point there. Now to check I'm working with the correct coordinates, regardless of my coordinate position to start and end, it should end with 300, which it has done. So I know my coordinates are all set correctly and I'm going through the right way. So from my line, I'm going to choose my next point. Okay, I'm going to come up. 50, so I'm choosing the system, and now I'm going to come across 30, tab, 360 degrees to get a complete straight line. From my line again, just going to continue using the coordinates, it's going to come up, and I'm now going to put the coordinates in um, that I've got. So I have um, 0, uh, comma, 0, comma, 85. Okay, now I'm going to move my coordinate system into zero, like so. So make this, this now my zero point. I'm going to draw a line from zero. I need to do that to eighty to minus twenty-five, comma eighty-five high. So I've used that coordinate there. Now I don't know this this and this next part, so I know it's thirty-five, but I don't know by what distance because I'm now coming from the center again. So we're going to come to UCS, go back to W for the original position, go back into UCS again, 300 comma 170. And I'm going to snap this all in place. So that's now for my radius. Three zero zero. I'm going to touch upon that side there. Now I know I've got a 180 degree line, so I'm going to put a line from that quadrant back 180, like so. Okay, now what I can do is I can bring a line coming down, like so. Okay, now I'm going to work on my line, 0, 0. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a line across the bottom, offset that one, 35. And now I'm going to draw point to point and then trim everything I don't need, like so. And then do the same again for the circle, like so. So that's our shape. Now I'm going to use the S again. I'm going to come to the 205245 location. Holding some shift to get my locks on the author, and again, just going to come around from zero zero. So, going to come down uh, 35, 270, 60, zero. Coming up, right down again, 25. 270 coming across 
That should have been 10 actually, shouldn't it? So it's, that should be 10 to 10. Coming across 25 from a zero. Back up 10. Come 90. Back through again. To the other location. We don't know at this stage, so zero comma zero. So now we're coming from here, we're doing 75, and then we're doing another line 45. So just put on the snap point, hold down shift, hold down shift. Okay, now that's what we get rid of that line, and then what we can now do. Just trim out these two, like so. Now this needs to be 45, so we've got to get rid of this line again. Come up, 45. Come across. Come back up, trim. Like so. So that's that first point done. Back to UCS. Take it back to the original location. UCS again. 242-102. I'm going to this location now. Now I want this to be at 45 degrees. So tab 45. I'm going to draw straight on at 45 degrees here. 9, 0, 0, run straight up to 90. Okay, 40, 90. Then I'm going to drop down on my 180 line. So it's got to be 16.25, comma 180. Now I'm coming up, now this is 15, so it's going to be 30, so 30 at 90 degrees, back up 16.25, 0, and then 40 at 90, like so, so that's the sort of the position that I'm in, from the midpoint, okay, it's 70, Draw a line down on the 180 degree line and then trim. You trim out those bits and pieces. Now I'm just going to check because my UCS looks slightly off. So 242,102. Okay, so the band is there, so it might be a case of actually it's not all squared over from zero, but I'm just literally copying the boundary positions from there. So what I'm gonna do is do UCS and go to 7555, attach it to my component, and UCS 242,102. Yeah, so it's really high up. So yeah, so there's a argument that actually you got to make sure everything's set from zero but it just doesn't do but in this case that's the example exercise so you end up going back to your um, architect or anyone and getting them to check but that's how then we do the same exercise using the coordinate system